There are so many different cell phones and only a few different ways to charge them until today with this fun and different way to charge your phone. To charge your cell phone with a fan, you're going to need a few things. I have a big box of computer fans from all my PCs over the years, so I found a computer fan that'll work for this project. Now this needs to be a 12 volt brushless fan that draws less than 0.10 amps. We're going to need some alligator jumper clips for this next step. If you don't have any of these, you need to pick a few up. So to make sure this fan works for the project, we're going to use our multimeter and using our alligator jumper cables, we're going to hook up the positive and negative from the fan to the multimeter. Now you'll see just by spinning the fan blades, we're generating voltage. And if I force some more air through, you can see this fan is going to generate a decent amount of voltage. And of course, you're going to need a cell phone. I'm going to use this older Samsung phone because I didn't want to ruin a cable for my new iPhone. And you're going to need the appropriate charger for that phone, mainly because of the connection connecting end. So leaving a pretty good length of cable, we're going to cut that connector off the charger. And Domino helps me pick out a USB cable where I clip the end off of that and strip the red and black wires. Then I solder the USB cable to the cell phone charger cable and use some heat shrink tubing to seal those connections. Now you're also going to need a mini USB step up converter. You probably don't have one of these, but there's a link in the description where you can pick one up for about six bucks. This will take around three volts and convert it to five volts so we can charge our phone. Now the wires for this fan weren't quite long enough either, so I soldered a red and black wire just to kind of extend the length of these cables and use some heat shrink tubing once again. And you're going to need a small suitable container. I'm using a small Tic Tac box because it has a nice opening for the cables, which we're going to put through the top right now. The red and black from the fan and also the USB cable. Then we'll make our solder connections to the mini USB step up converter. Red will be soldered to the positive input connection and the black wire will go to the negative connection. When that's done, we'll plug the USB cable into the converter and we'll place the converter with everything hooked up inside of our container and then push the top back in place. Using my Dremel and a sanding attachment, I cut a small groove in the side of the top so the top will shut firmly. Now our charge your cell phone with a fan project is ready to test out. And the last thing you'll need is a bicycle or a motorcycle. I dropped the container in my little carrying pouch and also used a couple of zip ties to mount the fan. Make sure you mount it in the correct orientation for wind flow. And then I plugged the charging cable into the phone and off we go. You have to pedal pretty fast to get enough voltage to charge the phone. But as you can see, it's working. This would be great in a pinch if you're out on a long bike ride and your phone dies. Like if you're riding around the world, which is the book I'm listening to, Riding Sky High, a bicycle adventure around the world. I downloaded it from Audible, who supports my show and helps me make videos for you. They have over 180,000 titles in every genre imaginable. And you can listen anytime, anyplace with the free Audible app on your smartphone, Amazon device, tablet, or computer. It's easy to get started. Try Audible, start with a free book courtesy of me, Kip K, get the free app and enjoy all the great membership benefits. So get your free audiobook right now by going to audible.com slash Kip K. Now, when you do that, not only do you get a free audiobook, but you're helping me make more videos for you. That's audible.com slash Kip K. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.